Well, the heroes had their fun, now it's time to give the villains a turn. Hello, Outsiders, it's Justice Fry here, and the heroes have done Hunger Games, so now it's time for Sonic Hunger Games Villains Edition. I'm just going to quickly show you all the districts here. We're not going to go through them and break them down like last time. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. And there should be a couple fan favorites in here. So before this starts, let me know in the comments as I keep going back and forth over these, who you think is going to win, who you're rooting for. And yeah, let me know who you voted for and what your favorite moment from this video was. All right, let's go. The first thing that happens, Xena just decides to run away. Okay, Xena, you do you, I guess. Speedy snatches a pair of sides. For you, those of you who don't know who this is, this is Tails' rival from Tails' Adventure. Uh, yeah. I just thought it'd be a fun idea to include uh, some of the other villains. Like, they're all in the same universe, so what does it matter? Uh, Eggman Sega, but with an N, finds a backpack full of camping equipment. This is how I'm referring to this character. I will not say his actual name because I am white. Surge takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. I don't trust Surge. Surge is the one who's going to do the most brutal things. Dr. Starline finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Honestly, Starline's one of my favorite villains, so... So, even though I know he's a bad guy, he's really fun to watch, so... I hope he stays around long. Don't know if I'm rooting for him to win just yet. We'll see how it goes. Zomom stays at the Cornucopia for resources. There are many jokes that can be made here, and I'm not going to make them. The end scares Dark Gaia away from the Cornucopia. Wow, power scaling much? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, all the end needs to say is one word to scare everybody. Mortal. Alright, classic Eggman and Heavy King fight for a bag. Heavy King gives up and retreats. Wait a minute. Just like the end with Dark Gaia, aren't you two on the same team? What on earth is going on here? Zavok pushes Dr. Eggman off a cliff during a knife fight. Wow. Oh, my buddy Requiem is going to hate this. This symbol of villainy in this entire franchise taken out by everyone's least favorite villain. Thanks, Bowser clone. Seriously, though, Zavok just wanted revenge for the for the whole conch bit. I forget the name of it. Cubot runs away with a lighter and some rope. Yes, I drafted Cubot and Orbot into this. They're kind of comic relief. We'll see what they do. Metal Sonic and Zaz fight for a bag. Metal Sonic gives up and retreats. Um, no, I, I don't believe that's how that interaction would go, but all right. RNG. Okay. Um, I don't know what to say about that, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, though we don't really need the Flames of Disaster doing that. All right, day one. Captain Whisker defeats Dr. Starline in a fight but spares his life. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're trying to go for an alliance. Starline has already worked with someone who looks very similar to you, so I don't think that's going to work. Robo, Black Doom, Eraser Jin, and Dark Gaia raid Zaz's camp while he is hunting. Okay, how would Zaz not notice the giant Eldridge horror just coming down and destroying his stuff? Then again, yeah. This could be really interesting. Battle Cuckoo, uh, otherwise known as Cuckoo the, the 15th, leader of the of the Grand Cuckoo Army who invaded uh, Coco Island in Tales of Venture. Tends to Eggman Sega with, with an end's wounds. Uh, I guess they're trying to make an alliance? I don't know. Surge attacks Heavy King, but he manages to escape. See, I see that happening. Surge, Surge is going to be out for blood. I'm afraid of what Surge is going to do here. Cubot sets an explosive off, killing Merlina, Perfect Chaos, Zavok, and Zick. Wow. <laughs> uh, Cubot? Uh... With that stare, uh, you you trying to say something, buddy? You, you you trying to let us know something? Xena stalks Kit. That is a child. Check yourself. No. Bad. Bean receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Honestly, I just love this image of Bean. Bean just looks like he's having fun, ready to blow stuff up. I really hope he gets an explosive at some point. Otherwise, this image was for nothing. Zor diverts Mark's attention and runs away. 
I mean, yeah, I can see that. Although, Zor would probably just embrace the death, if I'm being honest. If we're all honest with ourselves. Witch Cart from Sk Tail Sky Patrol kills Infinite as he tries to run. Really? Witch Cart killed Infinite. Uh, okay. No Phantom Ruby shenanigans. Wow. And Solaris practices his archery. I don't think you need to. I think you're powerful enough, but we'll see how it goes. Say goodbye to our fallen tributes of Dr. Eggman, Merlina, Perfect Chaos, Zabok, Zik, and of course, Infinite. Dark Gaia sets up camp for the night. You know, I'm just now realizing with Dark Gaia here, doesn't that mean the world is split? Like, this battle is happening as the world is split. Uh, I I might have accidentally caused some problems. Buffins, Iblis, Classic Eggman, and Zamom away from his fire. Okay, Cubot's a menace. Cubot, Cubot is definitely a menace. Uh, I'm scared of this man now. He didn't do anything to these guys. Like, they're all still alive, but still, Cubot's got plans. Egg Robo and Surge run into each other and decide to truce for the night. I'm wondering if Surge would truce. Maybe if she thought she was in a losing position, but I don't feel like Surge is the kind of person to admit that. Sage defeats Zor in a fight but spares his life. Okay. Zor would bring on the death, Sage. I mean, I mean, you do you, though. Mephilus throws a knife into Eggman Sega with an end's chest. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It wasn't a knife. It was something much, much worse. The Razor Jin severely injures Metal Sonic, but puts him out of his misery. I mean, that's fair. I mean, sorry, Metal, you're not as good as the original. Bean receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Bean, despite supposed to being like a demolitions guy, he's not really doing much. He's just kind of happy to be here. I'm just imagining he just keeps spinning this bomb. Day 2. Dark Gaia begs for Heavy King to kill him. He reluctantly obliges killing Dark Gaia. Wow. Okay, Heavy King is officially a lot more powerful than we thought. Um, bye, Dark Gaia. You will be missed. Well, no, the planet's back together. It's probably a good thing that you're gone. Sage hunts for other tributes, and she would do it well. Um... Want to run that idea by me, Grand Battle Cuckoo? You really think this is a good idea? You're going to fight the flames of disaster yourself. First tends to the end's wounds. Um, I don't know how the end got wounded, but, uh... Okay, Surge is definitely playing some kind of game here. I don't know what it is, but I'm interested. Cubot defeats Xena in a fight but spares her life. Okay, I guess Cubot has some standards things he won't do but he's got plans just you wait bark tends to dr starline's wounds i don't know how dr starline got wounded but that's an interesting team up which card attacks captain whisker but he manages to escape okay well it worked on infinite but apparently whisker uh is stronger now kit tries to spear fish with a trident i feel like kit um would just make the water rise and just take care of it that way Three cannon shots can be heard for Eggman, Sega, Metal Sonic, and Dark Gaia. Probably a good thing that this guy's gone, so we don't have to say his name anymore. Four tends to Captain Whiskers wounds. Would he really care, though? Would he care? Kid defeats Solaris in a fight but spares his life. Talk about power scaling. That took Super Silver, Super Sonic, and Super Shadow. Kid's just like, yeah, I got this. I mean, it has been a while, so maybe they're stronger, but I don't know. Surge begs for Bean to kill her. He refuses, keeping Surge alive. Okay, um... Wow. Uh, I didn't think Surge would be begging for that. Although, is Bean kind of turning heel and becoming a good guy here? Like, because he's not really doing much. He's just kind of vibing. Witchcart forces Bart to kill Dr. Starline or Sage. He decides to kill Sage. Well, there goes a fan favorite. Uh, Witchcart, you have chosen death. Um, also, from how you're playing this game so far, which card, which card, you're not, you're not as good as Cubot in terms of, like, the big bad of this, but you could be a big manipulating factor. I don't know yet. Oh, you mean the world you destroyed? Yeah, good for you, buddy. I can't wait for you to be destroyed.
Zamon forces Mephiles to kill Speedy or Grand Battle Cuckoo. He refuses to kill, so Zamon kills him instead. I'm just, uh, I want you to picture here a giant yellow monster forcing Mephiles, of all people, to choose between two people, a dad and a son, and decide which one is more worth living. That's an interesting comparison. I mean, I guess they're both still alive. Although, imagine how traumatic that must have been for both of them. Black Doom, Cubot, and Fang the Hunter track down and kill the end. Well, the end's gone. Um, it, it was that easy. Although, then again, Cubot was here. Although, Black Doom might have had a part to play with the Black Comet, but I don't know. Laris tries to sleep through the entire day. Um, I mean, I don't know if you really need to do to do that, but okay. After Starline kills Zor with a sickle, ouch! That that's uh that's a little painful, don't you think? <laughs> well, at least Zor Zor would probably embrace it. So, yeah, Starline's finally uh returning to his villainous ways. All right, that's cool. Zaz attacks a Razor Jin, but Witchcart protects him, killing Zaz. Um, okay, so Witchcart really out here just trying to make sure everything goes her way. Mm, I don't know if she's as good as Cubot yet, but she's getting there. She's getting there. Cubot attacks Speedy, but he manages to escape. All right, Speedy, you made it. You made it out of the hands of the main villain. Be careful. Mark sprains his ankle while running away from Johnny. I can see that. I don't know much about Johnny, but I can see that. Surge questions your sanity. You should have been doing this a long, long time ago. Grand Battle Cuckoo stabs Egg Robo while his bag is turned. Well, uh, there goes the robot from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Well, the Tales Adventure... Well, really just the Tales villains in general, they're all on one team. They're actually doing really well. Shots can be heard for Sage, Mephilus, The End, Zor, Zaz, and Eggrilla. I'm going to check everyone's status real quick. Yeah, we've still got Dist District 2 seems to be fine, as are District 3. District 4, again, this is giving you guys a chance to see who all is with who. You probably can make jokes about it. Um... Wow, I'm just now realizing, I find it really funny that the only two members of uh, the, the Deadly Six who are still alive are Zamom and Xena. I just find that really funny. Oh, and uh, District 10 of Infinite, Metal, Sonic, and Sage are all gone. As is District 12, all the Kaijus are gone. District 11's looking good as well, not too bad. Taurus tries to treat his infection. How on earth did you get infected? I'm very confused. Xena screams for help. I mean, I can imagine her screaming, but not for help. Fang dies from thirst. This is why hydration is important. I'm going to drink water now. That's good. All right, now to continue. But yeah, uh, sorry, sorry, Fang. Honey and Witchcart fight Bark and Black Doom. Bark and Black Doom survive. Wow, Witchcart's gone. Um, okay. You had potential to be one of the better villains, but uh, I guess you you didn't choose wisely when it came to Bark and Black Doom. Yeah, Black Doom's got potential. He may not look like it, but he's got he's got some power. Doctor Starline loses sight of where he is. Uh, careful, we all know what happened the last time you did that. Sing himself to sleep. Look at that face. That that's sad. I I, I don't know how to feel about that. The second time this has happened, Cubot. Cubot, is there something you're not telling us? Heavy King tends to Bean's wounds. I don't know how Bean got wounded, but thank you, Heavy King. Don't... You two working together is an interesting combo, but it is what it is. Razor Jin scares Grand Battle Cuckoo off. I mean, I can kind of see that happening. A Razor Jin does have way too much power. Cannon! Cannon! This is cannon! This is cannon! We all know this would happen. Uh, I'm actually happy we got an interaction like this between the two. Although, you're already on a team, so... Uh, three cannon shots can be heard for Fang, Johnny, and Witchcart. Uh, Xena and Razor Jin run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Okay, I can see that. Cubot destroys classic Eggman supplies while he is asleep. What? Why? Um, are you trying to get revenge on Eggman for something? What did he do? Black Doom sets an explosive off, killing Captain Whisker. Well, I mean... 
we, we knew it was bound to happen sooner or later, and I just didn't think it would be... Not not how I saw that panning out. Then again, I didn't know what to expect. Oh no! Speedy's dead. Speedy died from thirst. Aw, oh, man. He was cool. I wanted to see more of him. Oh well. It is what it is. The game must go on. Razor Jin overhears Bean and... Well, wait, really? Bean, you're talking to the Flames of Disaster? Uh, I don't know how to... I don't know what to say about that one, buddy. Xena and Black Doom successfully ambush and kill Heavy King Cubot and Grand Battle Cuckoo. Wow, and here I thought Cubot was going to be the main villain, but he's gone. Black Doom must have been sitting in the background thinking about some stuff and just overtook him in the end. This is interesting. Okay, maybe Black Doom's the most powerful one on the field at the moment. Kit receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. That's basically a deadly weapon to this character. Starline constructs a shack. Hmm. Research facility? Classic Eggman kills Bark with a hatchet. Classic's gotta do something, so here we go. Bye, Bark. Uh, another six cannon shots can be heard for Captain Whisker, Speedy, Heavy King, Cubot, Grand Battle, Cuckoo, and Bark. Black Doom and Iblis run into each other and decide a truce for the night. I'm very concerned about these two having a truce. Uh, it might be more fun to see these guys go at it. I'd like to see someone who knows more, who has more knowledge, tell me which one of these two would win. I'm thinking, based on my knowledge, probably Iblis, just because of the sheer scale, but Black Doom isn't to be messed with either. Zamon falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Looking for food, were you, buddy? Sorry, I guess uh, this wasn't the food you were looking for. The Feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. And Orbot, showing how powerful he is, just kills Solaris. Just like that. Again, that that took a lot, and Orbot just, Orbot just gets rid of Solaris that easily. Okay, fair enough, Orbot. He's finally throwing hands. Bean strangles Black Doom after engaging in a fistfight. Wow. I guess Bean knew he had to do something sooner or later. Here comes Bean. Here he comes. Well, I guess water doesn't beat fire in this instance. Rest in peace, Kit. You didn't really do much this game, but it's okay. You made per you made it pretty far. All right, day six. Surge receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. All right, someone's got their eyes on Surge winning, and I don't know who it is. Starline receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Oh, he'll put that to use. I guarantee it. Gagman and Xena split up to search for resources. Interesting that these two are working together, but, you know, I don't know. Four cannon shots can be heard for Zom, Solaris, Black Doom, and Kit. Again, there's not that... Okay, I want to stress at this point, there's not that many characters left, so it could be anyone's game. But we'll see how it goes. Bean severely slices Dr. Starline with a sword. I'm pretty sure that means Starline is dead, and Bean's the one who did it. Okay, Bean coming completely out of nowhere trying to get this done, but alright. Robot receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Don't know why you would need those, you're a robot. Is it just nuts and bolts? I imagine it's nuts and bolts. Razor Jin loses sight of where he is. Just be glad you're not in your lamp where you belong. Day 7. I think this is where it ended last time, so we'll see how far it goes. Bean makes a wooden spear. Uh, Alright, um... Still waiting on you to use a bomb, though. Iblis falls into a pit and dies. Yes! Yes! It's okay, Silver. Your future's saved. Iblis is gone. Woo! Alright, two cannon shots can be heard for Dr. Starline and Iblis. Day 7, a Razor Jin just dies from an infection. All that. I mean, he did put up a fight. I'm not going to say he didn't. He definitely put up a fight. And Razor Jin is gone now. Xena and Classic Eggman talk about the tribute still alive. Um, huh. Okay, I guess they're, these two really are working together. Okay, fair enough. Strangles Orbot with a rope. I don't understand how that works as Orbot is, well, as the name implies, a bot. I'm going to assume the rope just did its work until Orbot's head came off and then Surge decided to zap it into a million bits for good measure to make sure he doesn't come back. A lot of headcanon, I know, but it is what it is. 
Sometimes I don't understand how events like this happen, where the last four remaining classic Eggman, Bean, Xena, and Surge hunt for other tributes. Do they not realize they're the only ones left, or is that just becoming a reality for them? We got an arena event. This could be bad. This could be big. A volcano erupts at the center of the arena. Oh boy, uh, we got some lava. Somebody play Lava Reef Zone. Xena dips her weapon in the lava and kills Surge with it. Ow! Okay. That's, uh, that's dark. Oh, and then Classic Eggman dips his weapon in the lava and kills Bean with it. Well, Bean, you didn't do any exploding, but you were a bit of a fan favorite, at least in my eyes. I want, Bean was, Bean was cool, Bean was cool. Maybe it's just this image, I don't know. Although that does mean it's down to Classic Eggman and Xena, so you know what it's time for, ladies and gentlemen. Put in the comments who you think is going to win between these two. It's interesting, because they've been working together a lot, so... Let's see how their alliance turns into betrayal. Let's see who wins this thing. After we see uh, the four cannon shots of the fallen uh, soldiers of a Razor Jin, Orbot, Surge, and Bean. Classic Eggman kills Xena with her own weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the villains of, as I deemed the Eggman Empire for the battle, is Classic Eggman from District 9. Classic Eggman, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Um, I guess it just goes to show, Eggman really is the greatest villain in Sonic history. Alright, but we're going to look at the places again, because I need to take note of the top 12, because these 12 will be coming back for next episode. What is next episode, you may ask? I'll... Well, you'll find out. It'll be releasing uh, the day after this one is posted, so... There's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, claps again for Classic Eggman. And I forgot to do this last time, but we're going to see. I think he's right there. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, wow. Before I reveal that, I just want to point out. Modern Eggman got last place and Classic Eggman got first. That is hilarious. Really, both ends of the spectrum there. Uh, that... Sonic power scaling at its finest. But yeah, Black Doom out here in 10th place, getting the most kills with 7. Yeah, uh, Black Doom didn't play around. Although, I think Witch Card, for where she was in the game, well, no, nah, Witch Card only got 2. Yeah. But yeah, Black Doom clearly took it with the most kills with his 7. But yeah, that'll do it for this episode, and I'll be right back here for the next one very, very soon. So, stay tuned. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a God-blessed day, everyone.